x squared plus 4x plus 1 plus 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 1. Am I right? Why did you leave in the 1 on top if you took the derivative of the bottom? Pardon? He didn't do this. He separated it. You see how he separated the 1? He took it on the second part? Right. Is that the derivative of the bottom? No. 2x plus 4 is, right? But you need to leave the 1 in? Well, I, I, I can't change the function, right? Okay. All I'm saying is you agree that 2x plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 4 plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. So so just believe, if okay. you believe that, you believe these two are equal. Now I'm going to use a common denominator and take this apart. Because if the top had been 2x plus 4, I could easily do the problem. Because now the derivative of the bottom is on the top. Right. So now I have just two integrals. And this one I can do that way. Now, unfortunately, I still think this one's hard. So I still think the way we're going to have to do this one, it might have been easier just to do the first one. But I'm going to show you two ways to tackle it. So now, so now what I can do with this one is the bot, this is the bottom is x squared plus 4x. If it was a plus, divide by 2 and square it. Um, right, the bottom is equal to that, because 4 minus 3 is 1, and this is a perfect square, so now that's equal to 1 over x plus 2 squared minus 3, which is a trig sub. So now I recognize this is a trig sub, and I want to let... Um, what I need is this whole thing to be 3 uh, uh, secant squared see how I'm thinking about that what do, what do I want to make the bottom work I need to have 3 secant squared of x minus 3, which is going to be 3 times secant squared of x minus 1, which is 3 tan squared of x, right? So that will, that's what I need the bottom to be. So I need this part to be 3 secant squared. Yeah, that's kind of nasty just because the numbers aren't nice, right? Uh, uh, So now I take this. So so what, what that really says is x plus two is the square root of three secant of t. And I'm working backwards. I'm figuring out what I have to have, and I'm now trying to figure out what the substitution is by working backwards. Mm -hmm. Why three secant squared? Can it be just three secant? And then. Um, if, if it was just like x, it equals x plus 2. Right? right. So when you, when I square the x plus 2 squared, what I replace this part with must be 3 secant squared of t, Chris, so that I have 3 secant squared of t minus 3. So I can factor the 3 out so I can use the Pythagorean identity, right? Okay. So if all I chose was that's so I'm including the square. I need that whole thing to be replaced by that. Right. So what does x plus two need to be? The square. You, you mean, you're right. I don't want the x to have the secant no, no, square. I, I kind of thought ahead. I already thought of the bottom part without thinking of the top. Good part at all. That, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just not as fast as you. So I just had to start with what I needed and work my way backwards to figure out what I needed. Right. So this is what I. 
this is finally the substitution that I'm going to make. Okay. Which is the same one you made, right? I, I basically just jumped to the bottom. Good. But that's why I didn't see the top part at first. Good. You're going to survive. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so now dx is derivative of secant is secant tangent. And I'll let you finish it. Uh, uh, but that's chosen. I think that's what you need. Um, now, my point is this. I showed you how to bust this into two pieces. But this one I ended up having to do uh, a trig sub to. I'm not convinced that it wouldn't have been smarter just to do the trig sub to it right here. You see what I mean? Another choice would have been to go from here and just go, okay, that's equal to 2x plus 5 over x minus plus 2 squared minus 3 and make the same substitution, x equals x plus 2 equals root 3 secant of t. Okay, I don't know that it's any faster to break it into those two pieces than to handle each of these separately. Then, 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 then you just do it all at once. But I don't know what nastiness is going to happen if I do it this way. This way I know half of it I'm done. I can show off to my teacher how smart I am that I got at least half of the problem. Right. Before I get stumbled around over there and get confused. Okay, other integration problems before we get start rolling. All right. Yeah, I'm always happy to show you how to start these guys. You should be able to finish them. The answers are in the back of the book. Um, all right, so we were at improper integrals. I had a little problem in O 